launched on the gridiron in September. Perfected in the magic of March. The fans who love the crunch of the pads prefer a dunk and expect nothing but the best. It's Bigger Ten. Here's Steve Dace. Greetings. Welcome to this week's episode of Bigger Ten. I am Steve Dace, otherwise known as The Familiar. And I'm here with my partner. He is the one and only marble-skinned Nosferatu himself, but not that kind of partner. Aaron McIntyre, how are you, my friend? Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing well. Uh, I just made almost made a joke that probably would have gotten me fired. Probably best not to do that then. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I think the last thing America needs right now is another unemployment claim. Pro prob's right. That's probably right. All right. So let's get to it. Uh, we are looking at with no real time sports to discuss because of the coronavirus, and hopefully you're all staying safe. We are taking more of a big picture view right now on Bigger Ten and our friends, although we don't know them, over at collegefootballnews.com have released. Their first official bowl projections, bowl game projections in April. You know you have reached the bottom of the barrel that you are now scraping it, in fact, when you're doing bowl projections in April. And when you think bottom of the barrel, you think the Bigger Ten show. So it's right <laughs> in our wheelhouse, all right? So we're going to take a look at, at the bowl projections they have for the, every Big Ten team they have in the, in the postseason, Aaron. And then you and I are going to play a little game, bowl or bull, all right? Like, based on what we think about these teams right now on the date that we're taping this on April the 8th, could we see that, that yeah, that's a possible scenario? So, yeah, we'll, we'll call bowl game. That, that, that's the bowl. They could mm -hmm. be in that bowl. Or do we call bull because we're like, nah, that's either too way too low or way too high that they have that team projected. I think this is a good idea. And when it, you know, it was my idea to actually call it bull or bull. And I'm like, man, that looks great. This is going to be really, that's a really, really slick idea. Now, when you ask, is that bull or bull? And I say, that's bull. You're not going to have any idea <laughs> right. what I'm talking about. So it was a great idea. Soul back in bull. Yes. Soul back in bull. <laughs> yes. Something like that. So yes. bull or I'll, I'll say probably BS or something like that. All right. Let's begin. We're going to do this from the, from the bottom up, right? Yep. Okay. So they've got, uh, and this is in the order that the Big Ten bowl selections are done this year. You're going to see some new bowl games coming into the Big Ten rotation for 2020. They've got Northwestern coming off of last year's, there, there's regression to the mean. And then there's Northwestern 2019. They've got the Wildcats, though, bouncing somewhat back and headed to the Quick Lane Bowl in beautiful downtown Detroit for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. Is that a bowl or is that bull? Uh, that's bull. But yes, I, I don't even think Northwestern is going to make it to a, a bowl game this year. Again, I, I don't mm. think that that's going to happen until they figure out what's what's going on at, at quarterback and have somebody proven. I, I just don't see how they can. I, they're going to have another really difficult season. So I don't even think they're going to make a bowl game at all. I'm going to go bowl. B-O-W-L. I could see that happening. I do think they will bounce back. First of all, you know, I have a Pat Fitzgerald man crush. That yes, is, you do. That is well documented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I, I, and I also though just think he's too good of a coach to have what happened last year. They did get Peyton Ramsey over from Indiana. Now he's not great, but he's a dramatic upgrade over whatever that was, that primordial ooze that they had playing at yeah. quarterback last year. So he's at least competent. So I think they can get to six and six and get back to a bowl. And it would be somewhere around the level of that quick lane bowl. So I'm going to go with bowl. All right. So we have our very first disagreement right yeah, from the outset. That's not bad. They've got Indiana going to the Red Box Bowl. Aaron. I, I, I barely B-O-W-L. I, I think it's maybe a bit of a stretch, but good grief. I mean, Indiana, Indiana's, uh, they, I, I would say they overachieved last year. And if uh, my recollection is correct, they've got some pretty key pieces coming back. So. Uh, I could see them. I could see them making this. Uh, so I'm going to go barely B O W L. I'm going to go bull B U L L. I think this is too low. My team total talent ratings have Indiana as a fringe top 25 roster. Really? 
in the country for this season. All right. I think they've got a true difference maker at quarterback in Michael Penix. I, th- I see a very friendly schedule. I see a schedule that right now on April the 8th, I know for sure they're favored in at least seven of those games, maybe eight. And it's hard when you're like the fourth at best team in the Big Ten East to ever have a favorable schedule like ever. Mm -hmm. But this year, given the pecking order they're in, they managed to do it. So I think Indiana could even do better than this bowl game. And remember, they did better than this game last year by making the Gator Bowl. So I'm going to go bull, B-U-L-L. All right, because I'm more bullish on On Indiana. Indiana. See what I did there? Okay. All right, let's get to the next one here. Uh, they've got the Sparty, Michigan State, in the Cheese It Bowl, which was home two years ago to arguably the greatest bowl game of all time. At least I think that was the Cheese It Bowl, wasn't with the TCU and Cal, where they threw the eleven combined interceptions. Wasn't mm-hmm. that the Cheese It Bowl? Yep, that could have been People the greatest. Still watched it. Yeah, that, that could have been the greatest bowl game of all time. All right, but yep. they've got Michigan State in the Cheese It Bowl. Is that bowl or bowl? Uh, I think you could probably. I think. I think that is bowl, uh, B-O-W-L. I think this is pretty likely, or, or this it has a pretty good likelihood. doesn't mean that it's uh, necessarily going to happen set in stone. Uh, but I think this has a pretty good likelihood of happening. I just think you could very easily flip the last two. I think you could put Indiana and the Cheez-It Bowl and, and Michigan State in um, in the, what was the bowl that we just talked about? Red, the Red Box. Box bowl. How can you so, forget the Red Box Bowl? I don't know. Do your homework. I'm already already. It's an forgetting. American classic. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, that's in San Francisco, isn't it? It is, yes. Wow, okay. Yeah. See, I remember that. didn't remember the name of the bowl, but I remember that. I think you could very easily flip the last two, though. I'm going to go, we've disagreed on every single one of these so far. This is fun. Yeah. I'm going to go bull, B-U-L-L. I don't think they're making a bull game. I I think when you look at the top line talent they lost, they've got a gaping void at quarterback. And then you throw in the the lateness of the coaching hire, which already kind of puts you back. But now with no off-season program really at all, and you've got a whole new staff, well, it's a mixture of the old D'Antonio staff with the guys at Colorado that Mel Tucker could bring with him or wanted to. Uh, I, I just think there's too many moving parts there. And you look at Michigan State's schedule, I think it's the toughest schedule in the Big Ten this year. They've got Miami of Florida and BYU uh, in the non-conference. Uh, and then you look at the, there's a stretch of games they play in the, in conference play as well. Uh, I don't see that team getting to six wins. So I'm going B-U-L-L, Bull. Next up, College Football News projects Minnesota to the Music City Bowl in Nashville. Is that bull or bowl? Uh, bowl is in BS bowl. I, I think they're going to do a little bit, at least a little bit better than this. Maybe a couple of pegs better than this. Um, I, I, you know, I, 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 it loathes me, or I am loathed, however you say that, to admit you know, admit when, when a program has got it going a little bit. I think that they still have a little bit of a window right now <laughs> to do a little bit better uh, than the Music City Bowl. So I could see Las Vegas Bowl. I could see they can't go back to the Outback because they were just there, weren't they, yep. uh, last year? That was where they were last so year. They, so, you know, I... I, I don't think they're going to fall this low. I think this is I think this is too low for Minnesota. Wow. We're going to disagree again. I'm going to go bowl, B-O-W-L. And I was Mr. Gopher last offseason, remember? Mm-hmm. I was all over them. I thought they were going to have a breakout year, and everyone told me, uh, lay off, stop slinging the crack rock. And then they went 11-2. and two, Okay, but uh, the schedule is not as favorable as it was last year. It's still fairly favorable. I Unlike Michigan State, um, I, I like the top-line talent they have returning. But from a depth perspective, my numbers say they're a little bit down uh, given the losses they had last year. And this just looks to me like more of an eight and four, nine and three ish kind of team. And if that's the case and you start getting into brand names and those sorts of things, I I could see that they end up landing here uh, and going. And there's worse things to do than go to Nashville for New Year's. That's for sure. All right. College football news. Uh, You already let the cat out of the bag. The, uh, The Las Vegas Bowl which is one of the most coveted games now because of the upgrade of the stadium and how easy it is to fly in and out of there. So the Big Ten and the SEC were all over adding this game now to the new bowl contracts that debut this year. Your Iowa Hawkeyes 
are, are apparently going to be bringing the entire state of Iowa to Las Vegas between Christmas and New Year's this December, according to College Football News. Is that bull or bull? I would love to see this because it's the new shiny object. Um, but I, I think this is bull, B-U-L-L, bull. Um, I, I look at Iowa's schedule this year and they are, I think they could barely get to six wins. Wow. I'm dead serious about that. And I know, I mean, Iowa first year, and we'll get into this more when we WNL schedules, but I'm not even super confident they'll make a bowl game this year. Iowa first year starting quarterbacks, the last five have averaged just short of nine games. It is weird how Ferentz does well in year. And here's my theory on that. Because they don't have a really complicated offense, that I think it is easier with the first year guys to get them to play within the system. And then the more guys are there and they're like, well, you know, I want to do more now. You know, I want to be more than a placeholder now. I want to be more of a playmaker now that you you see guys typically not finish their careers at Iowa under center as well as they started. But they do really well when they've got a first year quarterback there under Ferentz. They always have. Yeah, but they have not had a schedule like they have this year um, in those first year starting quarterback seasons. So I am really I'm really uh, not bullish on uh did you already make that joke i did yeah which made what you tried to do by doing it again even even funnier yeah anyway i'm not bullish on iowa uh this year i think they could i think they could miss a bowl game altogether i think this is our first agreement i do think it's a little high i i I do see i do think if if you have like a nine and three minnesota and an eight and four iowa i could see iowa getting this bid over minnesota because of the fan base okay but I, I'm with you. My numbers are not high on Iowa this year. I, I think the schedule is not as tough as last year's, but still very difficult. Um, and the only thing that gives me pause is when they have a first-year quarterback and expectations are low, and you know this better than me as an Iowa fan, how often has that been some of the best years Kirk Ferentz has had, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, so that's the only thing I am concerned about, but I am leaning with you here. I, I think this is bull, B-U-L-L, a little too high for the Hawkeyes. As we continue going through college football news as bowl projections, they've got the Michigan Wolverines in the Outback Bowl, which means essentially another meaningless I'm nine sorry. and three kind of season uh, for Michigan under Jim Harbaugh. Just a whatever we played it, we charged a, an ungodly sum of money to go to the games, and nothing meaningful happened. You just didn't lose many. I'm sorry, man. Usually, I'm a little bit more empathetic. I, I usually have a little bit more empathetic, but well, you're undead, dude. You're undead now, and year, you're all out of you're all yeah. you're all out of empathy now. Yeah, yeah. It's year whatever, and we're talking about outback. We're talking about outback. I know. Um, but unfortunately, I think this is actually bull. B o w l. Because I because I can't go back to the Citrus Bowl, and I don't think they're going to I don't think they're going to rise up enough unless they have again we talked about the quarterback position uh, last week unless they have a, a quarterback that just emerges out of here they're they're probably not going to go above this line uh, very far anyway. I'm probably where you're at actually, just because I've lost all hope, and the schedule is actually pretty favorable. Uh, when you look at, uh, well, it's the 11 game schedule uh, is is pretty favorable. And you got to think if Michigan could get to 10 and two, it's going to make one of those New Year's six bowl games because of its coveted brand and fan base. Right. But if they get to nine and three, then they wouldn't make one of those games. You're right. The Citrus Bowl, they just went there. So that would be out. And now that drops you. I don't even know if the Outback Bowl factors in with the new bowl contracts because Michigan was just there in 2017. So maybe you drop all the way to Las Vegas. I I don't know. But um, it it just seems like Michigan is destined to essentially go nine and three or find a way to lose three games every single year. So I'm going with you. Bowl. B-O-W-L. Now we get to the higher rated games the citrus bowl they've got wisconsin in the citrus bowl and i'm calling bowl myself right now b-u-l-l numbers are not high on wisconsin i think this is one of the tougher schedules they have played in recent years when you look at they've got to arguably the best group of five team in the non-conference appalachian state they play notre dame in the non-conference as well they've got a stretch of games this in, in the big 10 i think where they have is it is it uh, michigan minnesota and I want to say oh, it's another top tier team back to back to back. Um, I, I think it's a difficult schedule for them. 
Uh, I don't believe they will win the division. Um, but uh, so I'm going bull. I'm, I am bearish on Wisconsin this year. You are bearish on Wisconsin. Well, from your lips to God's ears, um, I cannot stand coming in with one of my coworkers and uh, the smug look on his face. I, I, you know, I hope their season goes up in flames. That's all I can say. And as far as this projection is, yeah, I don't see that. I don't know how. I don't know what. I don't get the. I really don't. Now I, I'm. I'm taking. I'm trying to put on my objective lens and not the Hawkeye tinted glasses. I don't get the Wisconsin love. I don't know how you can replace a Jonathan Taylor. You know, they've got a, a, a quarterback coming out uh, or coming back now, basically a, a, a couple of Is them. Is he that good? But he's not that good. He's okay. Yeah. Okay. He's not a game. He's not a game breaker. He lost had, their two best they, players on defense yeah. or in, uh, yeah. uh, and bond both of those linebackers as well. Yeah. yeah. And so I just don't see, I don't see what others are seeing with Wisconsin. So I think this is bold B U L L way too high. Now I could see a scenario where you have Mich- you have, you have Ohio state and Penn state ahead of everybody else. And then a bunch of other teams are nine and three, eight and four. And then I, I, in that scenario, I could see Wisconsin getting this bold bid because, again, like a Michigan was just there last year, for example. All right. So that's the way that I could see it work out. But I I, I am not going to be as uh, high on Wisconsin when my preview comes out as probably a lot of other people are going to be. So let's get to the New Year's Six now and the Fiesta Bowl. Penn State going back to the Fiesta Bowl. They played Washington in this game a couple of years ago, and College Football News has Penn State going out there once again. Is that bowl or bull? Oh, mercy. I As, as um, optimistic as I seem to look at Penn State, uh, I've noticed myself you know, trending towards favoring them. I am, I'm still a little bit... A little bit skeptical, uh, if you will, on where to peg them in in terms of WNL this year. But when it looks like, I mean, uh, the the Fiesta Bowl is is that a Big Ten contract? Do they have a contract? No, that's with an at large New Year Six. That's game. an at large New yep. Year Six. I think I would hedge on Bull right now, B U L L right now, just barely. I I think that they will have a great season. I'm not sure if it'll be good enough for an at-large New Year's Six Bowl. I'm going to go bowl. I B-O-W-L. I think they will make a New Year's Six at-large bowl game. And I could see the Fiesta Bowl being uh, the game when you look at the way that those games are lining up this year, especially when we get to our final pick and, and the fact that the Rose Bowl is one of the national semifinals this year. And I don't think this shocks anybody or requires a long breakdown. College football news is projecting Ohio State in the Rose Bowl, which is the nation, one of the two national semifinals for the 2020 season. Do we need to uh, explain this any further? I think we're both going to go bowl uh, where this yeah. is concerned, B-O-W-L. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Fields coming back. That's all you need to know. I'm, I want to I want to consider self-harm. I'm just outback bowl in year six. But hey, here's Ohio State to the college football playoff. That was... I'm sorry. Is this still on? I'm I'm just uh, meandering now. Are we done? Ohio who? Yeah. Thank you. That'll do it for this week's episode of Bigger 10. Let us know your thoughts on bowl or bowl and whether you could tell whether we were saying bowl or bowl when we ourselves could not. Let us know about that in the comments as well. And we will be back again next week right here on Bigger 10. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Bigger 10 as well. See you next week.